Miami-Dade College started in 1960 as Dade County Junior College. Since then, the college has grown into the largest institution of higher education in the country. Almost 60 years of this history is stored in the archives. One of the largest archival processing projects we're doing has been to sort through over 30 years worth of materials relating to the Miami Film Festival, which was started in 1984 by the Miami Film Society. It was then operated by Florida International University for a couple of years before being taken over by the college in 2003. For the last couple of years, Natalka has been sorting through and organizing the many boxes that came from the film festival office. From chaos comes order, thanks to Natalka. Hi Natalka, how's it going? Hey, good morning. I'm sorting these pictures from Miami Film Festival, early in 1985. Look at that. Wow. Looks like you've got a lot to go through. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at some highlights of the work that Natalka's already done for the festival collection. This is the College Archives database, and so far we have 17,588 records of pictures, slides, negative brochures, documents, and audio cassettes. When I process photographs and I need to enter to a database, I give each photograph a unique number that I need to write in the corner of the picture. And I use very soft pencil, 6B, in order not to damage this picture. To preserve paper materials, we need to remove all metal clips so it does not rust and damage the paper. So this is acid-free box and acid-free envelopes designed to put slides, as many as 20 slides in each. And each slide has name and year of the film festival and also information about film and film director. This is latest arrival. It came in binders. It's all mixed years and media. Um, different uh, files, documents, uh, brochures, pictures, press kits. We need to process it. These are beautiful posters from film festival. They came all folded and wrinkled. So in order to straight it up, we put uh, weights, this kind of weights, and hope for best. As soon as I uh, process all this pile, it will be final product like this, uh, free asset free uh, folder um, with numbers of items, um, name of it, and a box number for easy located in the database. Eventually, the printed materials, photographs, and videos will be digitized and then accessible on the archives website. Until then, the work continues.